Well, hello and welcome to my latest update video. Um, things have been pretty hectic, I have to say, uh, which is why communication has been a little intermittent. Um, but nevertheless, here I am. By the way, while you're here, above is a post uh, stuck to the top of the page uh, where we're having a constituency poll asking you about priorities for North West Hampshire uh, into the future. So if you've got two minutes, please go and click through and fill in the poll. A couple of things to talk to you about uh, this week, all uh, local. First of all, Southwest Trains. Unfortunately, notwithstanding the enormous efforts that we went to um, up to Christmas uh, to get an improvement in the service, which seemed to take place on schedule from the 9th of December, I know there's been a reduction since and some uh, short trains appearing again, big delays due to some engine that developed a leak or something they told me. Anyway, uh, just to reassure you that I'm on Southwest Trains' tail about it. I have protested strongly to them. Um, I've had a couple of apology emails from them already, but it's really just not good enough when people are paying thousands of pounds for season tickets that the service is so unpredictable and volatile. Um, and so I'll be putting enormous effort in on your behalf, um, all you who use the train up and down, uh, to make sure that gets corrected as quickly as possible. Second thing to mention is some of you may have seen there's been an application for a new waste to energy plant, an incinerator near Long Parish, actually just outside the constituency, but nevertheless is causing a bit of consternation uh, for people in the constituency. I've had a few letters and emails in. I am due to meet the company concerned, who are called, I think, Wheeler Brater. Is that right, Emma? Wheeler Brater. Yep. Um, I'm due to meet them in the next couple of weeks to talk about the proposal um, and just try and understand what they're trying to do and what the impact will be. Um, and then I can communicate more about that. And then final thing just to mention, of course, is in the aftermath of the terrible, terrible Ocado fire, um, uh, during which, uh, particularly in and around Andover, the community pulled together incredibly well uh, to support uh, people um, who were evacuated in the area. Um, and Ocado themselves, who behave very well in terms of their employees, uh, thoughts are now turning to the future of the site. Um, and I've got a meeting have requested a meeting with the Cardo management. Again, I think it's on the 19th of March, I'm seeing them to talk about what their plans are for the site um, and for the 800 or so employees who work there. Um, um, I'm a regular Ocado user and talking to the uh, um, delivery drivers who've uh, done so to me over the last couple of weeks, they do say that within the company, it's accepted that Ocado are treating the staff and over very well, and there's a strong sense of camaraderie with them. Uh, but we just need to make sure now that the future is secured, and so I'll be trying to do that in the next um, a couple of weeks, as I say. So, all in all, um, things otherwise I think are pretty good, um, as you will have seen Brexit motors on, but I'll leave that subject for the next update, perhaps, and see you then.